So the other day, I was just watching a bit of YouTube when I saw a notification pop up that said that someone subscribed to my channel. By the way, you guys should do it because I have some quality content. Anyway, I would normally just have shrugged it off and just continue watching some random cat videos, but this time I decided to take a closer look until I realized that you don't really know where subscribers are coming from unless you go into every video and check the difference until you realize you don't know the previous number. In the last video, I created a web crawler. I thought, what if I could create another web crawler? But instead of football players, I would make it check all my videos for a subscriber difference, and then when it sees one, it will give me a message in the console telling me that I got a subscriber from which video or which section of my channel. Alright, now to get started, I need to get all the Chrome options figured out. Copy and paste the previous web crawler's code. Alright, so here's some code that I wrote just now for the script and this script only. This is completely original. And the first thing I want to get done is the ability to log in because in this open Chrome, my Google account is not logged in. So here you can see that the program can now open the browser and then log in by itself. Now after it logs in, it leads me directly to the YouTube studio, which is great. Now it can start right away on what I want to code. All the videos on my channel are in the videos tab. And I wanted to make the program hover over the video and then click the analytics, but that was too much of a hassle. And I, it seemed like too much work for something so simple. And so I stuck with the other option. The other option is that I could go into the edit tab by clicking the image on the left. I can go there first, then use the tab options on the left to navigate to the analytics. One thing I realized while programming the subscriber accounts is that the program needs to be able to save the previous results. I wanted to use a CSV file, but I thought it would be way too hard to determine which one to read and pull. So I decided to write the data into a JSON file instead because it looks much cleaner and it's much easier to understand. I spent about an hour or two on the JSON file writing system, but there seems to be a problem with the syntax, so I'm gonna try and fix it tomorrow since it's already 10 p.m. First thing in the morning, I have to try and fix that issue. I thought the best way was to try and do it by looping through each video and then adding them one by one, and this seems to be the solution that worked. I'm gonna program the background process functionality, but I don't think it's gonna take very long. So I finished coding the background process and the overwriting, comparing the previous sub counts and all those boring stuff, and I'm happy with the way the program turned out. It's a bummer that YouTube updates these statistics every day and not every hour, because I cannot see whether it's working right away, but I think it's working and that's all I really need. Well that marks the end for this little program. This took way less time than the previous project, but I think it, that's about right since I have more experience with Selenium this time than last time. But overall, I enjoyed this process a lot, and if you guys have any suggestions on what I should build next, you guys can at me on Twitter at yt underscore indie, or join the Discord server to comment there. Other than that, I'll see you all in the next video.